example, a study just out showed that your glucose level in the blood predicts your risk of dementia. Your glucose level in the blood at the age of 35 reduces your risk of dementia. So probably we start to lose our cognitive function. When it gets serious enough, we might possibly go and see a doctor and they might diagnose us on the basis of a cognitive function test with mild cognitive impairment or MCI, or we would call it pre-dementia. Now, if it gets worse than that, it's called dementia. But two thirds of dementia is actually Alzheimer's, which can only be diagnosed by doing a brain scan, because you're looking at a central part of the brain, the hippocampus is part of that. And you can actually see shrinkage in that central part. And that is Alzheimer's. This is not a normal part of the aging process. It may be common, but it's not right. It's not, you can live to 100 without any shrinkage of this medial temporal lobe at all. And without loss of cognitive function. So it became clear to me that Alzheimer's is a disease in the same way that diabetes and heart disease and cancer are diseases. You don't have to have them. 